So here we go. What I want to show you is how to find the cosecant of theta when the cosecant of theta, or the sine theta, when the cosecant of theta equals to 2. So what we're trying to do, theta is going to be our angle. And the important constraint about this is it has to be in the first quadrant, meaning the angle has to be between 0 and 90 degrees and 0 and, uh, or 0 and pi halves. So what I'm going to do then is if I know it's going to be in the first, if I know between 0 and 90 and 0 and pi halves, it has to be in the first quadrant of the unit circle. So what I'm going to do then is going to quickly draw with the first quadrant of the unit circle, a little bit rough, but we'll go through, and I'm going to graph kind of these first couple points that we'll have. So remember our first point is going to be 1 comma 0. Then over here we have square root of 3 divided by 2 comma 1 half. That's for 30 degrees or pi over 6. For 45 degrees or pi over 4, we have square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And then for 60 degrees or pi over 3, we have 1 half comma square root of 3 divided by 2. So what they're asking us to do is find the angle when cosecant of theta equals 2. So we need to remember exactly what does cosecant represent. Well, remember cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. And remember sine of theta represents the y over your r. Well, in this case, our r is going to be 1. So therefore, our sine just represents, I'm sorry, our y coordinate. So the cosecant, in that case, the cosecant of theta then is going to be 1 over y. So what we look at it is we say, all right, which y coordinate, when I take the reciprocal of it, is going to equal 2? And what we notice is if I take the reciprocal of 1 half, the reciprocal of 1 half is going to be 2. Therefore, when I say the cosecant of theta equals 2, we can now say theta is going to equal either 30 degrees or pi over 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for your angle uh, with the cosecant function in the first quadrant. Thanks.